going on, adventurers? We are currently visiting Discovery Cove in Orlando. So we're going to show you around Discovery Cove a little bit today. We're going to take you in the different waterways and show you all the awesomeness there is to behold here. We're going to be having lunch shortly. We actually had breakfast here as well. They do serve a, a continental breakfast, but it's all inclusive here. And when I say all inclusive, I mean all of the attractions are included. They do have some extra added things that you can do. Uh, such as the uh, sea track where you put on like the diver helmet and then you get to walk on the ground under the water They do have uh, a shark interaction that you can do They have like a behind-the-scenes animal thing that you can do which is pretty cool They do have some premium drinks here as well, which is called the premium drink package But it does include your beer and wine and I believe uh pina coladas things of that nature margaritas but they do have like a, a higher tier one that you can purchase separately so Right behind me, this is called the Freshwater Oasis. This is a beautiful, beautiful feature here at Discovery Cove. One of the newer ones. And right out there, there's an island. And there are some marmosets out there, which is really very cool. And if you go to the right, we're going we're gonna to get in the water here shortly, but if you go to the right back here behind the palm trees, there are some um, Asian otters, which is also a very cool thing. So we're gonna check that out. We're also gonna go in the Lazy River, which is across the way. And then we are gonna head into the Grand Reef as well today. So I hope you guys are ready to have a beautiful, relaxing time. When you're here at Discovery Cove, it feels like you're on a private island. Like you just stepped off of a cruise ship into a beautiful private island. And the best part is, it's right in the middle of Orlando. Look at the Discovery Cove duckies. They're having as much fun as we are, I think. And they live here. <laughs> Look at these two. Where you? Oh, what's up, dude? He came to say hello. Look at that. You're a show off, aren't you? It's okay. You're a ducky after my own heart. <laughs> they do also offer cabanas, which is an awesome thing, especially if you have a larger party definitely very comfortable they are a little bit pricey but like I said if you have a larger party you can split the cost so that works out I kind of wish they'd have a smaller size cabana for just like couples uh, I think that would be awesome and we probably would do that more frequently we have done it a couple times and it is very nice but like I said the price point isn't quite exactly what we like so you know we're just roughing it <laughs> we got plenty of towels to keep warm it's a little chilly today uh, but so beautiful nonetheless and the park capacity is limited it's normally I think it's normally limited to a thousand people but with the COVID it is a lot more limited so it's very relaxing here I feel very comfortable here uh, people are socially distancing people are wearing uh, the face masks when they are out of the water there are certain places that you can take them off you're not allowed to wear them in the water but we have these and we're trying to stay as far away from other people as possible so look how gorgeous it is here though. This is absolutely pristine and we love coming here. We come here quite a bit. So we're gonna continue to share our day with you. We hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Alright guys, so we are currently in the Lazy River and I can't say, I mean, I can't even decide which part of Discovery Cove is our favorite because we love all of it. It's all so different, so unique, so awesome. Uh, I guess I would, if I had to choose, I'd probably say the Grand Reef only because there are living animals and fish in there. Uh, it's, it's all a really nice experience, but I mean, look at the beauty here as we're floating along the lazy river. Like I said, it looks like you're literally on your own private oasis. So, I mean, how could you not love this? <laughs> She's so goofy. <laughs> we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you guys, there's a really cool waterfall coming up here. Hey, that's better. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying, but at least I can see now. I got my glasses in my mouth, so. Let's see what's going on under the water. So 
So guys, as soon as we get past this waterfall, we will be in the aviary, and we're probably gonna see some really cool birds. So keep your eyes out, and we'll be sure to point them out if we see them. This is gonna be fun. Here we go. All right, we've made it into the aviary. We're gonna go see what kind of beautiful birds we can see. Bet we can find a couple. What have you found, anything? I hear you, but I can't see you. Where are you? Oh, there's a beautiful giant bird down here, just around the bend. Look at these guys. Hi guys. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness. They're talking to us. And my bird poop is just the last one. She has her bird poo shield on her. Look, there's a beautiful ibis over here. And he's very colorful. Hi bud. I think these guys are called skimmers. The ones that keep flying above our heads here. These guys are awesome. Look, they're all over here in their little and their little nesting bowls. I love these guys. I love their little uh they must have like these little white, almost look like mustaches. Look how pretty they are. Is there one in there? There is one in there. Hi guys! What you doing? Oh, all right then. <laughs> okay. He says, back off my house. a look around the bend here. There's like some awesome ancient artifacts in this area. So let's see what's here. Yeah, it looks like South America. I think Lisa's right on that. Wow, isn't this cool? I wonder if it continues under the water. Let's take a look. Oh guys, I cannot reiterate how amazing and relaxing and pristine Discovery Cove is. Definitely when in the Orlando area, be sure to check it out. And I would recommend checking out their rates a couple months ahead of time. They do run specials from time to time. We actually um, were able to get a good special. They had a 30% off holiday special. Now we are Florida residents and that does help a lot as well and we are SeaWorld annual pass holders. So we do visit here quite a bit and they do run some really, really nice specials. So like I said, be sure to check way ahead of time and you might run into a great deal. Oh, there's a gorgeous waterfall coming up here. But as you can see, like I said, um, the park capacity is limited currently and generally speaking even before covid their park capacity was limited as well it's not like you know as many people that wanted could just come in here i believe it was limited to a thousand a day don't quote me on that but i know it was never super overcrowded like it was always 
comfortable. You didn't feel like you had people pushing up on you. So now, you know, especially with everything going on with COVID, um, their park capacity has been cut even further. I'm not sure which percentage they're operating at currently, but as you can see, there aren't people even right next to us. So it's very comfortable and you don't feel claustrophobic. So um, I don't know about you guys, but right now with COVID, you know, if somebody gets too close to me, I feel like I'm about to have an anxiety attack. So, you know, just, just want to let y'all know that is not the case here at all. And you guys would probably love it here. Let's check in with Lisa and see what she's doing over here. I think she's going to make her way over to the waterfall. She usually does. Now there's some cool things under the water here too, guys. We're going to show you. Look at that waterfall. Is that beautiful or what? Look at that waterfall, guys. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this log that stretches across the lazy river. I think that's a really cool touch. Just makes you feel like you're, you know, out in the wild somewhere. <laughs> I just want to be like Simba and Pumbaa and walk across it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Why don't you do that? I don't think they would like that very much. You know, make your way across the log singing Hakuna Matata. <laughs> I just want to give a quick shout out to Deep Blue Gear. That's the company that uh, provided us with these masks. These masks are amazing. Uh, I especially love mine because I can actually see underwater now without having to wear contacts, which I've been having a problem with lately, but hopefully I'll be able to wear contacts again soon. They provided these masks for us. I will include the link in the description as well so that you guys can go check that out. But these masks, highly recommend them. So we're going to continue about our day. We're just kind of taking it all in, you know, just chilling and living the island life out here in Discovery Cove. What's up, guys? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Are you enjoying a beautiful day here at Discovery Cove just like us? It sure looks like you are. I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you later. All right, guys, so here is our lunch. This is the jerk chicken. Looks really good. The pulled pork, which we have had before, it is excellent. This is salmon. This is the steak. And then here's some chocolate cake. A pina colada cupcake. I'm gonna pick one. What should I choose? Mmm, looks delicious. Yeah, I already tried a little bite. I was, I was cheating. I tried a little bite of the pulled pork, and oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. Mm. Oh, Lisa's digging into that wrap. Look at her go. Oh, this looks good. Want to try to wrap? I think I can handle this. It's like um, turkey ham, made of cheese, lettuce. I guess that's a spinach wrap. Try it. Go for it. Mmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Does it have your approval? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to enjoy our lunch, guys. There's some um, showers here. Just want to point out that those are actually heated as well. So you don't even have to go into the bathroom to get a hot shower. Landscaping is so lush and beautiful. Here is the locker area. There are a couple locker areas, so that's very convenient. There's one of the snack bars. Let me just show you guys some of the things that they do have here at the snack bar where we're here. It's some different varieties of chips. They do have pretzels and cookies available, but you ha have to ask for them right now. They have some delicious ices. They have wild cherry, pina colada, banana. Banana is my favorite, by the way. And the white cherry. Um, and lemonade. We got some more chips here. They do have a Coca Cola, self serve. And they have some, this is the different alcoholic options that you have. Hello. Hello. Discovery Coke bottle holders. Aren't those awesome with the dolphins? We're working our way back to the Grand Reef. 
and I'm borrowing Lisa's scooter because my foot is still hurting a little bit, so I figured it'd be the easiest and quickest way to take you guys back here, but I wanted to show you how beautiful the landscaping is all throughout, all the way back to the Grand Reef. And there is plenty of signage here, so you do not lose your way. It's another set of showers. Almost there, guys. It's not much further. Out here to the left, there are three dolphin lagoons where you can do your dolphin interactions. We generally don't do that because we come here so often. We've done it a couple times, like I said. I actually proposed to Lisa here several years ago. But right up here is the Grand Reef. So we're gonna go check that out. There is another snack bar here. This one's a little easier to see. They got some uh, Rice Krispie treats and peanuts. Some more varieties of chips, Cheez-Its. And here's the self-serve drink fountain as well as the icy machine. There goes a ray. Oh, there's a spotty eagle ray. Those are my favorite. Oh my gosh, now I want to get in. There's a big southern right check it out there's a feeding frenzy here there are some sharks below us here some sharks right here below us on the bridge check it out guys there is a goliath grouper down there underneath of that black tip reef shark wow that dude is huge Plenty of nurse sharks over there, chilling. Little bonnet head. These guys are amazing. I love them. I would definitely do the shark experience here for sure. I forget how much it costs, uh, but I think it would be worth it to do it once. Always wanted to swim with sharks in a controlled environment. You can experience the opportunity to swim freely with multiple species of sharks. Very cool. I would totally do that. So this is the sea track area. And this is the part I was telling you that you actually can put on the, um, the diver helmets and you can walk along the ground. We've never done that. I don't know. Um, I'm a bit claustrophobic, so I don't know how I would do with that. It does look like a really cool experience, so it might be something that I will do in the future, but you know, if it's something that you're interested in, I would highly recommend trying it. And they do have railings, I don't know if you guys noticed, they do have railings underneath of there, so you can hold on as you're walking along the bottom. There's a couple rays coming through. So, quick trivia, do any of you guys know what you call a group of stingrays? Put it in the comments section and I will let you guys know. Uh, later on, I will pin the answer to the top after I give you guys a couple days to guess. So guys, this is the coral reef at Discovery Cove. You actually can get in here and swim with stingrays and exotic uh, tropical fish.
guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We certainly appreciate it. We hope you had as much fun as we did. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.